Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Sunday, June 9th, 2019. It's one, or I'm sorry, 11.23 a.m. in Rochester, New York. This video is um, an update for my Coping with Schizophrenia vlog. Um, I post this on my blog as well as YouTube and a few other social media sites. But anyways, this video is about the mental, mentally ill and exercise. Um, there have been a lot of scientific studies that show people with schizophrenia, depression, anxiety, schizoaffective disorder, bipolar disorder, anxiety and panic attacks feel better if they have regular exercise. And exercise doesn't mean that you have to be a professional bodybuilder or you know run a marathon for 26 miles. Um, I exercise in two ways, just simply by walking, and it's a nice day today in Rochester. It's not winter. Uh, it's approaching summer. It's a sunny day out. No reason I can't go for a walk if I need exercise. Um, and yes, I do smoke cigarettes, so it seems to contradict two different things contradicting each other. I walk for exercise, but I smoke cigarettes. And I'm not proud of the fact that I smoke cigarettes, but exercise is still important for me because it leaves a lot of emotional tension as well as doing anything good for my physical health. Um, and the other type of exercise I like to do is go on a short bike ride. Um, because I smoke, I do get out of breath easily, so I don't go as far as I used to on my bicycle. Um, but it's still important to exercise because, again, it's not just physically getting better healthy when you exercise. It's also relieves anxiety, tension, um, depression, uh, confusion, um, panic attacks, that kind of thing. Exercise helps you feel better overall. It helps you cope better with your symptoms. It doesn't necessarily reduce your psychotic symptoms. But I think it does make it easier to cope with those things. Um, and that's true for non-psychotic disorders as well. So if you don't exercise, go to your doctor, get a medical exam, and if they clear you, start an exercise program. For me, like I said, I walk maybe a mile and a half um, leisurely, not jogging, not running. My knees don't allow me to jog. Um, and riding my bike is also easy on my knees. I don't run or jog anymore because it really messed up my knees. Uh, but riding a bike doesn't seem to have the same pressure on the knees and on the feet as jogging does. When you're jogging, your foot is constantly hitting the ground. And every time it hits the ground, that stress and pressure goes right up your legs, right into your knees. Um, so you can screw up your feet and your legs and your knees and your um, knee joints. But anyways... Exercise could be light, it can be um, medium intensity, um, it doesn't have to be professional bodybuilding, you don't have to, you know, look like Arnold Schwarzenegger used to look, of course he doesn't look that good anymore, he's getting older, um, but the point is that you don't have to be a professional baseball player, a boxer, a bodybuilder, or somebody who runs the Boston Marathon to exercise. Um, experiment with your own uh, ways of exercising, what makes you feel better, what is it that kind of interests you as far as exercise is concerned. Like some people might prefer riding a bike as opposed to walking. I do both. Other people might prefer just one or the other. And of course, those are not the only two ways of exercising. There are other ways of exercising that are fairly light and easy to accomplish and don't require, you know, a commitment of five hours a day of exercise of bodybuilding or something like that. But like I said, scientific studies, and this is the real point of the video, um, scientific studies show people with schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder, and I'm sure it applies to other mental disorders as well, they feel better generally when they have an exercise program. And just for the sake of um, safety, it's best that you get a medical exam so you can prove to yourself that you're medically cleared to exercise and it won't harm you to do so. So... Go to your medical doctor, get a medical exam, and if they clear you for exercise, you should start some sort of exercise program. 